Okay, so this time we're going to start with our very first exercise in Excel, which is called the point of sale system. So to do that, we need to know that, or we need to have an idea about the point of sale system. Now, point of sale system is like something that we are currently seeing or always seeing in cashiers. So for example, if you're going to buy something in the store, you will be able to see that cashiers are computing the products, the product name, the quantity, the price, as well as the total amount. Now that's what we call the point of sale system. So to do that, first we need to rename this sheet. So this is the sheet in here. Uh, it's been named as sheet 1, so you can just double click on that one. Just change that one to point of sale. There you go. So that we already have an idea on how we're going to create our first exercise. So the first thing that we're going to do is just to type the product name. Name, there you go. Then afterwards, we are going to type in the price of that particular product. Next is the quantity. Then lastly is the total amount. Now afterwards, what we're going to do, since we have noticed that all of these cells were not, uh, were not able to fit on the column, so what we're going to do is just to highlight on the column header, then just double click there you go so as we can see in here all of the details on that particular cell were automatically being fit okay or fitted on that particular column so next is we're going to format this one just change the headers to bold and we can transform the headers into something like an highlighted one so I'm going to use this color this might do there you go then let's try to think of different products so maybe I think I'm kinda of hungry right now so I'm going to use food so let's say for example I'm going to type in spaghetti there you go next is burger next is fries now let's think of a particular price for spaghetti let's say for example the spaghetti is around 35 bucks then burger is about uh, around 32 bucks then price is around I don't know how much is it 45 I'm not sure okay next is we are going to compute for the total amount now always remember in starting a formula in Excel all we need to do is just to start with an equal sign okay then afterwards we are going to compute for the total amount by multiplying the value of the price multiplied by the value of the quantity so first we're going to click on the value of the price Use the asterisk for the multiplication symbol, then click on the quantity. Now, with the time you're going to hit your enter key on your keyboard, you will be able to notice that there is no total amount. It's because we haven't placed any value for the quantity yet. Now, with the time we're going to place a value in there, let's say for example, I'm going to buy two orders of spaghetti and hit your enter key. By the time you're going to hit the enter key, you will be able to see that in real time you'll be able to notice that there's a change in the value of the total amount so if ever I'm going to change this one to 4 in real time as well you'll be able to see the change so to drag the formula downwards all we need to do is just to hover your mouse on the lower right corner of your cell and it changes into something like a black cross so all you need to do is just to click in there then drag downwards so if ever I'm going to place a formula in here I mean a quantity in there, another quantity in there, then you will be able to see the total amount. Now that is how you are going to create a simple point of sale system in Excel. Thank you.